Welcome back to Outdoor Life. Uh, so this, this afternoon I'm set up on some public land. Uh, I actually was on my way in here and I jumped a deer. It ran down the lane and I saw it was a little one, but I was going to shoot it anyways. I'm kind of here just trying to get meat for the freezer because we're running low on meat. So um, I'm just I'm pretty much shoot anything that's legal and saw it was a little one, I was going to shoot it anyways, it ran up, stopped by a pine tree, or went behind a pine tree and into some thick stuff, and I couldn't get a shot at it, uh, so then I put my climber on the tree, started climbing up, got up about seven or eight feet, and I'll just play the rest of the video, it was, I videoed the uh, rest of it with my GoPro, because my camera uh, was in my backpack and I didn't have time to get it out but anyways go ahead and roll the clip of um, what happened I was just climbing my stand, I mean climbing my tree, and I had, I had jumped a deer when I came in here, and I picked up my gun, I mean I picked up my binos and I was looking over here, uh, trying to see if I could see her, it had been a small doe, and I couldn't see her, so I uh, went back to start climbing up again, and here comes another one. I don't know if it was the same one. It might have been. But this one came kind of from the opposite direction. That one had kind of had went into. But she came up to 20 yards from me. And I just smoked her. She ran maybe 40 yards. <laughs> so awesome. So it's 12 o'clock right now. And so I'm going to go get her. Bring her back here. Gut her. And um just put her in the shade she should be fine it's pretty cool today so let's go <laughs> all right well as y'all saw i just i shot that little button buck um i didn't know he was a button until i walked up to him after i shot him but it's fine he'll eat good um so i went ahead and climbed my tree i'm pretty high up here uh, I can so I can see pretty far so there's a bottom running down kind of a little bottom running through this these pines here I was gonna hunt the bottom but I was looking at it and I, it looks like a prime place for a deer to bed um, so I figured there's deer bedding down there so just stayed up kind of on this hill and I can see down into the bottom so it's 120 so still got five hours of hunting so hopefully something happens
shot and she like ran a little ways. I thought she was going to go down, but then she turned around and ran back down towards the woods. So I pick up my rifle and watching her. She takes like two steps out from behind the tree and I let her have it. She she fell. I'm pretty sure I saw her crash right down here in front of me. My season has been going horribly and I finally have some success. So, that's awesome. Still got about another hour. I'll sit here. I still have seven doe tags, so if one of those little ones would have given me a good opportunity, I would have probably shot one of them, but they were just running. So. celebratory snack. Racy Cups. And when you go get Racy Cups, make sure you get the king size. Way better. Way more good stuff. All right, guys, well, Bryce just showed up to help me, um, and we're going to go try to find my doe, the big doe I shot. I found the little one, um, or the one yearling that I shot uh, there at the last, and now we're going to go find that doe. I'm right in that dead log in that dead stump over there. Came down in here. She's laying in the creek here. Um, she had all the dry ground here to land on, and she's gonna go right in the creek. Of course. I'm gonna drag her up out of here. She's a little bit bigger than those others. Wait, she's moving. Her muscles are still twitching. There we go. I'm gonna touch her. Oh, I'm gonna just touch her with her foot. Her muscles are twitching. I don't really care what's going on. Her, she's moving and she's supposed to be dead. But I'm gonna go and get her out and there. I'm actually kind of glad she died in the creek because now I can just gut her and wash my hands and everything off.
Alright guys, well, uh, we just got her gutted out and ready to drag out. Uh, I don't know what happened on the first shot with this dove. I thought I was, I had a really good prop. I thought I was on her shoulder and I shot and she, I thought I killed, I got her, but then she took off running and um, came, ran, happened to, at least she didn't run across the lane because I don't know if I'd have gotten another chance at her. But she took a couple steps on the lane. I made a good, good clean shot on her and now it's time to drag this thing out and drag my other two deer out so we got a long night ahead of us but hey it was so much fun this is the one i'm most proud of the others are just yearlings they're meat for the freezer but this is a mature old dove so anyway, i destroyed the heart and lung so but the first shot I totally missed. I don't know what happened. I felt very confident. I thought I was going to make a perfect shot on her. But it just didn't work out. Alright guys, well, um, we had a little, a little over a two hour drive home, and I slept most of the way, and um, now I'm having to skin these things out, so, uh, but yeah, I, we got out of there quick, drug these things out, it, it didn't take us long, um, and so, yeah, it was a fun night, uh, I don't know if I, I think I mentioned it, but my buddy that was with had shot a, um, a doe as well so we ended up with four deer tonight punched quite a few doe tags and uh, yeah still don't have as much meat as we want but this definitely helps and yeah hopefully you enjoyed the video don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button we'll see you in the next one